In some recent videos, I've been showing how light travels straight through a rectangular piece of glass like this, but a prism, a triangle-shaped piece of glass like this, completely reflects the light this direction, even though there's no reflective coating or anything on this surface. So I figured I'd explain a little bit more about why that happens. So as light goes from one material to another, whether it's going from glass to air, in this case, there's a certain angle called the critical angle, where at angles greater than that, the light completely reflects instead of going through. If I tilted this prism, at this point, the light is still being bent by the angled surfaces, but it is still traveling through the prism. It's not reflecting anymore. And so the angle that I'm talking about is measured perpendicular to the surface. So for example, the angle of this surface we would call zero because perpendicular to this is the same direction as the light coming in. But here, the perpendicular direction to the surface is there, and we'd say there's a 45 degree angle between the incoming light and that surface. So the critical angle at which the reflection happens is dependent on the two types of materials, glass and air. And then if that angle is greater than the critical angle, that reflection happens. So right now, it's less than the critical angle and greater than the critical angle. So if I submerge this whole thing in water, this reflection actually wouldn't be happening because now it's no longer going from glass to air, it's going from glass to water. So that would change the angle at which that internal reflection happens.